In this video, we'll learn to write numbers up to 200 in digits and in words. So I will start off with numbers bigger than 20. You should be able to know how to write numbers up to 20. If not, go back to the entry one video on writing numbers up to 20. So it is important that you know how to write all the tens. Ten, which in words is written as T E N. Twenty, thirty, So different from four, which you write as F O U R, you write forty without a U. Fifty. Again, different from five, you write this as fifty with an F in there. Sixty. That doesn't change. Seventy doesn't change either from the 7, just out the ty at the end, 80, 90, one hundred. Two hundreds so two lots of a hundred which makes two hundreds so ten you should know twenty thirty comes from the three where you write it as t h i r and then the t at the end so we see the t y appearing up to ninety just as we say the words ninety 80, 70, 60, and so on. 100, 100, and 200. Now, as we said before, you should know how to write numbers like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, up to 20. So if you want to write 22, for example, you would write as 22 in digits, and in words, that would be just the 20 and the 2. If you only write 56, so write the 50 and the 6. If you're going to write 68, so it's 68. 79, 70, and the 9. If you want to write 135, so we got 130, so three tens and five units, 135. So you can say 1. Hundred or a hundred and thirty. So we've done the hundred, we've done the thirty and the five. If you want to write a um, hundred and fifty six, so we've got the fifty six there, we've got the hundred there. So we're going to write one. 100 and 56 56 let's say we want to do 168 168 so 100 and the 68 so we can say a hundred which is the same as one 
and 68. So we've got to see where are these all located. Let's say 179. What represents them or what do they represent? And as we've looked at these before, this means the units, this means the tens and this means the hundreds. So there is 100, so 100, 7 tens, 70 and the nines, 179. Whereas this 108, because there are no tens, so we we'll read it as 108. So there are 8 units, 100, 108. How would I read this? This would be 120, because there are two tens, but no units. Whereas this, it would be 121. And how would I read this? 199. And that's how I write it when I hear somebody saying the number. If somebody says 199, you've got to listen to what are they saying. So I'm going to say now another number. It's 166. So I'm saying 100. So there is 160. So there are six tens and six, so six units. So hundreds, tens and units. This is how you write numbers up to 200 in digits and in words.